when the subject of aircraft carriers comes up, people think of the seagoing variety. But for a few short years in the 1930s, the US Navy operated not one, but two flying aircraft carriers. Now relegated to circulating football stadiums and other sporting events, airships were, during the early part of the 20th century, considered a vital part of a nation's military arsenal. Invented by German aristocrat and general Ferdinand von Zeppelin, the airships that bore his name were rigid, with the outer skin supported by an aluminum framework. The first flight of his rigid airship over Germany in 1900 lasted 20 minutes. Up until 1914, the German Aviation Association transported over 37,000 people on over 1,600 flights without incident. During the First World War, Imperial Germany used Zeppelins as long-range bombers, launching numerous attacks in Northern Europe. These early Zeppelins used hydrogen, a highly flammable gas instead of helium, which was relatively rare and more expensive. This resulted in several airships being lost in catastrophic fires. The United States had shown little interest in rigid airships until they captured the German airship L-49 in France during World War I. They demanded that Germany build two Zeppelins as part of war reparations, the Germans having scuttled most of their fleet towards the end of the conflict. Germany agreed to build one airship, and the US built a second airship from the plans. In 1926, the US Navy commissioned the Akron class, consisting of two airships, the USS Akron and USS Macon. Designed as scouting and reconnaissance vessels, both ships were used as airborne aircraft carriers, with each airship carrying a small squadron of airplanes that could be used to increase the scouting range of the airships and protect them against enemy aircraft. The ships measured 785 feet in length, or 240 meters, and were powered by eight Maybach 12-cylinder engines. They could reach a top speed of 75 knots, 63 miles an hour, and a range of 11,000 kilometers. Unlike their German counterparts, the Akron class of airships featured a design of two rings connected by supports that formed triangles all around the ring's circumference. It was believed this offered greater strength, although it made the framework heavier than the Zeppelins. The Akron class ships used helium instead of hydrogen, thanks to America's monopoly on helium reserves. In a further departure from previous designs, the engine compartments were installed within the hull, providing not only easier access to the engines, but reduced drag in flight. They were capable of accommodating up to five small aeroplanes, with a trapeze apparatus used to launch and recover the planes. On April 3, 1933, the USS Akron left Lakehurst, New Jersey on a mission to calibrate its radio equipment. Just after midnight, strong winds caused the Akron to plunge 1,000 feet in a matter of seconds. To counteract this, the crew decided to dump the water ballast to gain altitude. However, this caused the airship to rise too quickly and lost control, crashing into the sea. 73 people on board were killed, including Rear Admiral William Moffat, the chief of the Bureau of Aeronautics. On February 12, 1935, while returning to its base in California, the Macon lost one of its stabilizers in a storm, made a forced landing in the sea and sank, with the loss of two crewmen. The loss of life compared to its sister ship was mitigated by the availability of life jackets and life preservers on board. The Akron and Macon would be the world's only flying aircraft carriers. They were twice as fast as their seagoing counterparts, and it would have been interesting to see how they would have been deployed in the Second World War.